We must always think about what we do, how we do it, and why we do it, and comply with regulations. Personal data must be processed lawfully, correctly, and transparently so that data subjects understand how the data is being processed and why. The legal basis for an institute of higher education is legal obligation, for example, an obligation to keep accounting records, exercise of public authority, that is, what we do under a mandate as a public authority, such as providing education and examining students, contracts, for example, employment contracts, public interests, for example, research results, public documents, or access to public authorities' operations. Another legal basis for personal data processing may be consent. Consent may sometimes be needed, and it must be voluntary, specific, limited in time, easy to understand. Remember to document the consent and manage it using your Institute of Higher Education's procedures. Consent may also be withdrawn at any time by the person who gave it. Personal data processing must always have a clear, specified purpose and the data may not subsequently be used for any other purpose. A purpose may not be too general. For example, future needs is not clear enough. We are not allowed to process more data than we need. Personal data processing must be necessary Remember also not to record personal identity numbers routinely as this personal data requires particular protection and should not be placed at risk of unnecessary distribution. Then consider one more time what you really need. Can you perhaps perform your task without processing personal data? The personal data must be accurate. Consequently, we are obliged to rectify personal data that is inaccurate ensure that ongoing personal data processing is up to date. The data processed must not be saved for longer than necessary. Don't save it just because it might be nice to have. Remember to regularly review the personal data you have processed and remove what you are not allowed to keep. However, don't remove public documents that must be archived until you have checked if the document retention plan mandates deletion. Personal data must be protected with appropriate technical and organisational measures to prevent it from becoming disclosed to unauthorised persons or being destroyed or corrupted. As an additional security measure, you can also consider using pseudonymised data. You do not need to write everything in plain text. You can use codes and a key instead and keep them separated. Archiving of personal data by public authorities is limited not by its purpose, but by whether it is considered public documents or not. You and all citizens' constitutional right to access public documents remains. But not everything must be archived, and not everything is a public document. If you are uncertain about whether personal data processed is a public document, or whether it should be archived or can be disposed of following a decision to do so. Ask someone who knows, for example the Registers Office or Archiving Department. The Institute of Higher Education is responsible for personal data being managed in accordance with the regulations. However, as an employee, you are also responsible for managing personal data correctly.